an important part of almost any analysis of sedimentary rocks is reconstructing the directions of the flows that deposited those rocks. And when the strata are deformed and tilted, we have to reconstruct uh, the beds back to their original horizontal orientations in order to make those deductions. In the first video, we looked at how we can untilt strata to reconstruct um, paleo flow directions. And we looked at rotations of beds around their strike direction. We call this untilting. Now, many sedimentary successions have experienced more complicated deformations than simple uh, tilting and rotations around the axis of strike as we find it in those beds today. Strata can very commonly be folded, and if the folds have got significant plunges on them, we have to make a correction for this. So let's examine a situation where we've got um, some beds that are folded, and we've got an overturned layer uh, upon which we're going to make our payer current observations and measurements, and we've got a plunging fold that's plunging down like this. In order to reconstruct the true orientation of the beds, we have to first unplunge the fold and then untilt the beds. Okay, so it's a two-step process. What we're going to do is um, look at two situations of two uh, paleo currents on this type of uh, geometry and we'll compare the results from just applying an untilting correction which will be insufficient and then the two-step process of unplunging and then untilting. We'll see if we get very different results. Okay, so let's plot some data up. So let's put a north arrow and our bedding uh, is 02078E, so 02010. 020078 will be through here, so let's just draw that on. So there's our bed um, that's 02078. And now we're going to put our payload current indicator on, and that has a pitch of 80 from the south, which is there. Okay, so there's the orientation of our payload current. If this is um, inverted, so in other words, we've got upside down beds, we're looking at a situation, uh, something like this, then they're gonna simply rotate out over to this side, out on that arc, which will put it there. So that is the orientation of our payload current when this is simply untilted, uh, and that comes out, and we read that bearing off, two, seven, eight. So I'll just write that down. 278 for a simple untilting um, of the payer current indicator. Okay, well, let's imagine this bed is actually on a fold limb, and that fold has got a plunge of 60 degrees towards 040. So let's find what that is 10, 20, 30, 40, 60 degrees towards 040, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So that's where our fold hinge is. Right, so now let's think about how we have to uh, rotate and unplunge the fold. So here's our fold. Here's the plunge with my finger going down the hinge line. And when we want to unplunge this, what we're going to do is rotate the hinge to horizontal by a rotation about an axis that's perpendicular to the hinge line, like this. So let's see how that plays out on the stereo net. So what we need to do now, if we're going to use these as our rotation axes, we now need to put our fold hinge here so that essentially what we're going to do is unplunge the fold. Let's imagine it's something like that. We're going to unplunge it by rotating on this axis and the hinge line will spin out to here. Okay, so that's where the fold hinge will unplunge to. Now, if the fold is rotating like this, so too will beds and all the other objects will rotate as well. And we'll assume they just do that rigidly as a simple rotation. So if we impose a 60 degree spin around this axis for the hinge line, then this point here, our payload current, will also experience the same spin. And that puts it 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 there. So that's where our payload current comes out to. 
Now once the fold is unplunged, the hinge line is horizontal, therefore the bedding strike is the same as the hinge of the fold. So this is the strike of our bedding. This point is on the bedding, so we can simply draw the bedding trace in now as a reconstruction. I'll just change the color and draw this in in uh, pink. This is our reconstructed bedding orientation, having unplunged the fold, whoops, through here. Like this, with its paleo current that's sitting on our yet to be untilted but unplunged uh, structure. So now this just has to spin out uh, on this rotation, which is going to spin it out here if it's overturned, and it's going to come out like this on the north arrow. So, in other words, our paleo current, if we just spin that around just to confirm, if we unplunge it, comes out here at a bearing of 360 or 000. So really different from just the simple untilting uh, reconstruction. If we hadn't unplunged our, our fold structure, we'd have been out by almost 90 degrees in our paleo flow direction. So you see how important it is to unplunge folds as part of the reconstruction method you apply to find the original orientation of paleo currents. Let's just look at another paleo current indicator using the same bedding and fold data and just look at how we have to deal with this when it plots in a different part of the stereo net. Okay, so there's our bed and let's just put on the fold hinge line. Remember, which uh, plunged uh, 60 degrees towards 040. So that's 10, 20, 30, 40, there's 040. Let's just put the plunge on again. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So there's the fold hinge line. And now what we're going to do is put onto this the orientation of a different uh, payer current. And this time we'll plot it up in this area here to see what happens. So uh, let's go for a payer current that's pitching 30 degrees north on this bedding plane. So let's come up like this. This is the northern end of our uh, great circle. Count in 30 degrees to get the pitch. 10, 20, 30. So there is our payer current. So if we were to simply untilt this bed without thinking about the fold structure, um, and the payer current, let's assume that it's like this and uh, on the inverted uh, bed uh, surface. So it'll spin out over to here, which means it'll follow this trajectory here and hit the edge of the steering net in this position when the bed is horizontal. And that uh, orientation, if we spin it around, uh, we can see is a bearing of 350. So that's the uh, restoration of our payer current, ignoring the fact it's in the fold and just using a simple untilting method. But we've seen we've got a plunging fold structure and that's the hinge line. So let's just again restore the fold hinge. So we put it round to here because what we're going to do is spin the fold like this. So the fold hinge is going to spin out to the edge of the steering net um, about a rotation axis here. So in other words it was the rotation axis is 90 degrees to the axis that we're actually going to spin on. So let's go and have a look at where that comes out and it's going to come out uh, there. I've already put the mark on. So that's where our fold hinge line is. We've already done this and it's spun 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 degrees. Okay so now let's rotate the payload current by this 60 degrees rotation about this axis. So it's going to track uh, along this trajectory here. 10, 20, 30. Oh, right, so it's already horizontal by the time we've done that spin of 30 degrees, but it's got another 30 degrees to go. So it's actually gonna spin out into this part of the stereo net, another 30 degrees on this small circle here, 10, 20, 30 to there. Okay, so in other words, that's, if I just count out how many degrees around, it's 12, it's 12 degrees around from here, 12 degrees around from here. So it's this trajectory. So in other words, it's done this, and then this to get to that position. So that is the unplunged orientation. 
Right, let's just spin this around and reconstruct the great circle that represents the unplunged bedding orientation. So let's spin this around. Remember, the hinge line, when it's horizontal, is, always, is horizontal, therefore the beds on each limb are also have that as its strike. So that's the strike of our, un, uh, our, our reconstructed bedding orientation. And it's going to arc down and include that point, which is a point on the bedding plane, or a line on the bedding plane in three dimensions. And let's draw it on. It's going to come round here. This is our orientation of our bed that contains our unplunged paleo current. There we go, down here. So there's our paleo current on bedding like this. It's going to spin out like this when we untilt. Now it's going to untilt around on this axis here, like this and appear there on the edge of our stereo net. Let's just spin that round and get the bearing. And we can see that's 270, 260, 252. If we just apply a simple untilting, we get a value of 350 for our paleo current. If we do the full correction, allowing for the plunging fold, we get the true orientation of this reconstruction, which comes out with an orientation of 252. And that's a really huge difference. 100 degrees. So a two-stage workflow for unplunging and untilting paleo currents.